G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds you all well. Today's video, I just wanted to look at the layout and design of uh, Adobe Camera Raw, and more specifically, where the tabs sit within your page and how they interact with each other. If you're anything like me, you like to get your editing done as quickly and efficiently as possible. And hopefully what we look at today will help you to be able to do just that. Now, while I'm only working on a single image at the moment, this is particularly useful if you're working on a large number of images and you need to make repetitive changes to images um, on a regular basis. Now, there's always global changes that you can make to images and adjustments that you can make to all images at one, uh, one time. But quite often, even uh, under controlled lighting conditions, you still need to make specific changes to each image uh, as you go through the editing process. Now what we're looking at is the default layout for Adobe Camera Raw. And uh, if we look on the right hand side of the screen, we can see light, color, effects, curve, color mixer, color grading, detail, optics, lens blur, and calibration. Now obviously we can, with those little arrows on the left hand side, uh, open and close or expand and contract each one of those tabs, uh, making it available uh, giving us access to each of the tools that are available within them. What happens though if we uh, look at more than one tab at once? You can see as I'm clicking on each new tab, the previous one that was open automatically closes. Now this is how Adobe Camera Raw handles their tab uh, layout by default. But of course sometimes there might be a situation where you want to have two tabs open at once. Now while you may think that this won't have a big effect on the amount of time it takes for you to edit for you to edit an image it can actually have a huge effect on the amount of time so what if we want to have more than one tab open at once so if we just hover over one of the tabs and right click you can see at the moment the edit panel behavior is in single mode and this is where you can choose to have more than one panel open at once so in single mode as i demonstrated as you open a new tab, the previous one closes down. Let's have a look and see what happens when we go into responsive mode. So as I open a second tab, you can see that the first one stays open. However, it only allows for what can be fit on the screen at one time. For example, when I try to open three tabs, one of the tabs automatically closes, or as much as can fit on the screen at one time. For example, we can fit light and curve at one time, but we can't fit color as well. So light and color, the most recent two tabs that I've opened, uh, remain open, but the other one automatically closes. So let's just close those down again. Right click and let's have a look at multiple mode. This mode basically allows us to open all tabs at one time, but it will do so off the screen. So it means then that we have to scroll uh, back up to the top to be able to go to that top tab that was left open. And that's only because with all the tabs open, they simply won't fit on the screen. But it at least allows us to leave the tabs open so that we can quickly scroll and access the tools that we need. Now if we close all of those and right click, you can see the three options that we have there. Single mode, where only one tab is open at a time. Responsive mode allows any number of tabs to be open, but only with what can fit on a screen. And multiple mode, which allows us to open all tabs, but of course we need to scroll between them in order to um, access all of the tools, simply because with all of them open, it's too big to fit on one screen. So for me personally, uh, the responsive mode works best. Uh, the two tabs that I use most commonly for my editing is the light and color. So I'll go through initially with my edits and I'll make uh, some global changes to the images. Uh, but then generally the refinement process for me is light and color. There will be some that I'll, uh, I'll go through and uh, refine on other tabs, but generally these are the two that I use the most. So for me, that option with responsive mode is best suited to my workflow. Have a bit of an experiment and a play and uh, see what works best for you. And hopefully that helps you to speed up your workflow a little bit. Now, what if you find that some of these panels you simply don't use? Well, that's a really easy adjustment to make if you want to change the layout to uh, Adobe Camera Raw. If you simply right click and head up to edit panels 
to show, you can see that you have the option to uncheck uh, any of those panels. For example, if you're not going to use lens blur, you can simply uncheck it, hit OK, and you can see uh, Adobe Camera Raw shuts down and then very quickly opens again, and that tab is no longer there. Now, obviously, if you want to bring it back, edit panels to show, we just recheck lens blur, hit OK, you'll see Camera Raw shut down and open again, and uh, lens blur has reappeared. Now, by default, all of those tabs are ticked, so everything is available. However, you can untick whichever ones you want and only have tabs open or available within Camera Raw that are, that are going to suit your workflow. Now, what if the order of these tabs isn't best suited to your workflow and you want to change those around a little bit? For example, if we want to put Color Mixer at the top, all we do is right-click, Edit Panels to Show, head over to Color Mixer, and simply use our up and down arrow to place it at the top. We hit OK. Once again, Camera Raw will cycle through shutting down and reopening. And you can see the Color Mixer is now at the top with the remaining tabs in their default position below the one that you've just changed the position for. So you really can refine the layout of Adobe Camera Raw. As I mentioned earlier, this is particularly useful if you're editing a large number of images and you're making adjustments to each image or a batch of images at a time, uh, but there's refinements that you need to make as you go through all of that work or all of that content. Of course, if you want to change it back, just head back to Edit Panels to Show, Default Order, and hit OK. Once again, cycling through that open and close, or sorry, close and open, and uh, you can see that those tabs are now back in the default order that they started with. So everything is adjustable and uh, readjustable back to what it originally was. Thanks very much for stopping by. I hope this video has been helpful. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to pop them in the questions below. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.